Hey guys, Glenn here from F1 Sports Cards slash Hammond's Hobbies. There's a story behind that. I'll explain it in another video. Uh, but uh, I have been waiting weeks for this Ship My car Cards parcel to arrive. And I've just pulled everything out of it. And we have got, I thought I'd do like a quick Malday video. I've got two cases of flagship. 2021 so that means we have potentially about i would say there's one in every other box on average uh, so we should have across these two cases about 12 relics we're going to hit 12 relics these are from 2021 these are typically more expensive than the 2022 flagship product uh, i think the relics are better plus you have the chances of hitting those flags of foundation in a case, you normally have like a case hit. So we're hoping for a low numbered, either an out of five or one of one foil fractor. But ideally, if we can get that, but in one of the relics, that will be a huge hit. Now, this is obviously going to be a, a nice cheap break. So if you're fed up of all the expensive breaks that are going on, uh, these work out obviously a lot cheaper. We're going to be doing two different shows uh, for two different cases. One of them I'm going to be doing as a case break, meaning we're going to open up the whole case in one show. That is scheduled for in two days' time. So I think today, as of recording this video, it's Wednesday. So by Friday, if you go over to my WhatNot page, you should see the show scheduled for an entire case break. If you want to purchase your favourite driver for the entire case, Head on over there now. The spots are all loaded in the store now. So um, go over there and purchase your favorite driver or whatever, uh, Team Boss, whatever it is that you're collecting. The other case, I'm going to open up tonight and we're going to do one box at a time. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Auction starting at a pound. So, it, you know, if it goes for one or two pound, then you know that person will get that spin of the wheel if they get max lewis charles whoever they'll have that driver for the entire box we'll do that one box at a time so that's going to be nice cheap breaks that you guys can get involved in two or three quid a spin you know it's not going to break the bank and fingers crossed one of you might hit a really nice parallel or a relic so they're the two breaks that i've got coming up i'm also going to be doing an echelenza box break of uh three to four boxes depending on how many arrive Probably next week, um, maybe the weekend, fingers crossed, depending on what happens with my wife's birthday. <laughs> and then also I will be doing a entire case break of Chrome 2023. Um, I'm actually doing it as teams. So if you want to purchase a team, I think the hottest team at the minute has to be McLaren because that will get you Lando and Piastri for the entire case. Obviously, Mercedes gets you George and Lewis, Charles gets you Sainz and Leclerc, and the team bosses, and any team logos, and so on and so on, that we hit from that case. So make sure you head on over. That's next week. So I'm giving you a sneak peek into what I'm doing next week as well. Right, these are cards that I've bought from different whatnots, eBay, um, just people in the Facebook group, F1 Sports Cards in the Facebook group. If they're based in America, rather than getting them shipped here in the UK and paying import tax on them, I send them to ship my cards and then wait for it to build up and then forward it to myself. It's quite nice because I actually forget what I've got. <laughs> you can see there's literally hundreds of cards here. Um, so I forget what I've got in there. So for me, going through them now, it's like a nice little surprise for me. It's almost like a Christmas day. I know that's really sad, but let's have a quick scan. So you guys know I'm collecting. We've got some Fuchsia Lavas. We've got Aqua Waves. And we've got some F2 Autos here as well. It's quite nice. I've got an Oliver Behrman coming in the next few days, actually. We've got some Red Greens. We've got some Autos from 21, which is not, I didn't know, I didn't know I ordered them, actually. We've got some gold checkers, orange checkers. I don't actually collect any of them, so they'll be going in a single show. Uh, but I do collect this. I collect gold waves. You guys know I like gold waves of things. I'm also collecting Sapphire Aqua uh, for 2023. Um, not really collecting 21. Fuchsia Lava, orange waves. So again, 
I don't need them. It's red. I don't need that. But I do want these. So I'll be collecting them. So uh, some people think that I jump in on a lot of other people's single shows because I'm buying the singles to then sell on my website or sell on whatnot to make profit out of them. Uh, nine times out of ten, that's not the case. I'm not saying that doesn't happen, but nine times out of ten. So everything you see here, I bought with the view of that's for me, that's for me, they're for me, they're for me. I'm left with this. So what I tend to do, and I'm sure all collectors do this in one way, shape or form, whether you just open up a box and you take out the cards you want from it um, and then sell the rest, that's exactly what I'm doing here. So I buy big bundles off people and I sit through them and I, I will go through and see which ones of these I actually need because I don't know. And then once I've put them into my binder, any duplicates or spares, they all go into a pile. That pile I then add into a pot or a box and I wait until I've got an evening where I haven't got anything to break and I'll do a singles show. I'll start everything off at a pound. Now, if, say, this bundle here costs me four, five hundred pound, I'll take what, what from it I will, what I want, and then I hope that I make some money back. Not all of it. I understand I'm not going to get 500 quid back. But if I can get 300, 250, Great, that means I've got a bunch of the cards that I need for my collections and I've made some money back as well. I'm collecting this because I've actually got the super fractor of it. So Robert Schwartzman's my guy at the minute. <laughs> um, these, I'm not collecting any of these. So these will go into a single show. Oliver Behrman, red, green. Keep that one. Got to collect the Chelmsford boy. I'm collecting black sapphires if anyone's got any of them for sale. Uh, team logos, gold waves. You guys know I like to collect gold waves. Uh, we've got some... Ah, uh, oh, look at this. So, obviously, the black sapphire. That's Felipe Drogovic in a PSA 9. Ideally, I'd like it raw because I want it in my binder. So, I might have to crack this, which will be a shame. Because normally, these only get graded like an 8. So, actually, a PSA 9 is a really good grade of this. But, I don't know. I'm torn whether to snap it or not. What do you guys think? Comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, but, look at this. Oh, oh, some of you might be saying, Glenn, what is that? I'm going to do another video talking about these because I've actually got another one on its way here as well. So we've got uh, some more black sapphires, gold waves, centers. These are quite unique center cards. Um, I'm not sure if these are gradable or not, but I'll do a video talking about these as well. So Again, I'm buying stuff for content, even if I don't collect it personally myself. Sometimes I think, oh, that would be good to talk about that on a video. Um, we've got a ton of purples. <laughs> I don't need any of them, so all of them will be going in a single sale. Uh, we've got Frederick Vesti, Gold Wave, I'll have that. Mini Diamonds, I don't need any of them at all. But I do need Future Lavas. Whee. What else have we got here? Loads of F2, Future Lava, Aqua. Sapphire 2020, you guys know I'm a sucker for 2020. I think we've even got, I swear there was an image variation in here somewhere. Mini diamonds, don't need them. Look at that, Aqua 2020. Echelenza, don't know why I've got that. Orange Joe from 2020. Lando Norris, 2020. Image variations, I always like to try and collect short prints i think short prints are the hardest things to hit in some of the cases so when i see them going for 10 20 pound i i see the value in them um i know some people don't uh refractors gold wave sapphire 2020 got gold wave echelenza gold wave single sale single sale echelenza aqua aqua wave more all O's, Oscar Piastri. Oscar Piastri's Flags of Foundation. Nice. Autograph. And then we've got, oh look, we've still got more here. God, we've got loads. Sorry if this video is going on a bit too long. Oh, Lewis Hamilton portrait. It's 
It's always good to have duplicates of these, but look at the condition that's sent in. There is, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it looks like thumbprints of someone who's just eaten a sugar donut, but um, it's everywhere. So I'm gonna have to take that card out and clean that up because that's come really poorly. Um, I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, these are bought on F1 Medalist stream. Not that I'm pointing them out, I'm sure some of my cards have thumbprints on them and that. Um, image variation. Ooh. Ocon. We've got some Lando Norris. Loads of Lando. Red green, Toto Wolf. Echelenda of the moustache. Some more Aqua 2020s. So there you go. There we. Oh no, I've got some uh, slabs as well. I also got a Beckett's Nine flagship of Lewis Hamilton. I'm not a big fan of the Beckett slab. What do you guys think? I love how clear it is. Like from the back, it looks really cool. I just I prefer the PSA ones. PSA flagship. PSA Nine. PSA Ten flagship Aqua. Nothing really sort of like to shout about, but obviously I'm a Lewis Hamilton fan. So if I see any Lewis Hamilton PSA 10s going at a cheapish price, then I'm in. <laughs> but this one, this is a beaut. This is a PSA 10 Lewis Hamilton tops now 2020. Originally, when these came out, uh, there wasn't actually a huge print run of them because not many people knew that Tops were going to start doing F1. And the Tops now were some of the first uh, images that they printed of those year's drivers. So you done Lewis Hamilton here. Um, it was, I think this is image number three in the set. So they'd only released like one or two weeks worth of cards at that point. Uh, and this one was one of the first ones that everyone considered Lewis Hamilton sort of rookie or first Tops card. To compound that even worse, in the UK, I don't know if it happened in America, but some of the tops nows, uh, they were getting trimmed too short. So they actually had a bit taken off the top. Well, if you have that, PSA won't grade it from as far as I'm aware. Um, they'll send it back to you saying this card has been altered. So that means not many of them actually got graded and not many of them got PSA 10. So these went uh, crazy at the time they skyrocketed they've come down in price now more people pe more people have got them graded since obviously the number the pop report's gone up but still to me this is still one of Topps's very first lewis hamilton images and it's in a psa 10 so you can't ask for more than that so i'm really happy with that purchase as well so that's it from me that's my f1 mail day I hope you guys have enjoyed that. If you have, smash the like button up on this video. Make sure you click subscribe. Like I say, we're doing two cases of flagship over on WhatNot. Join me for that. If you want to purchase, uh, pick your own driver. We're doing a show of that in a couple of days time. If you want to do just spin the wheel, join me tonight for some cheap um, spin the wheel action per box. And then going forward, I've got some boxes of Echelenza on their way here so hopefully I should have those here by the weekend so we might be doing an Echelenza break this weekend depending on how my wife's birthday goes <laughs> and then we're also going to be doing Chrome 2023 whole team case break so the McLaren one looks really uh, appealing at the minute because you get Oscar Piastri and Lando Norris and obviously Lando after the Miami win is very hot at the moment um, so make sure you head on over to the whatnot page that's scheduled for that and you can purchase what team you would like. All the spots are already in the whatnot show, so you can purchase them right now. I'm also going to be doing, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, I have never ripped open Chrome or Sapphire 2020. Never. Never ever in my whole history of collecting F1 cards have I ever been able to afford or get hold of their product and then to rip it open. But an opportunity has, a river, has arisen, so I may be breaking some single boxes of Chrome 2020 and Sapphire 2020. So if you would like to get involved in that, keep an eye out on my whatnot, because soon as I schedule the show, I think some of the spots are going to sell really quick. 
that's it from me guys i hope you've enjoyed that sort of like a window into what i'm personally collecting obviously if you do have anything that you think oh glenn would like that because i've got some of these or gold waves drop me a message you know how to find me instagram tiktok twitter and the facebook group f1 sports cards or you can just comment down below on the on this video so uh, that's it from me guys i hope you've enjoyed that and i'll see you over and whatnot bye for now